In our previous videos, we created all of our parts for our Among Us uh, pencil case holder. What we're going to do now is take these parts here and we're going to move into the assembly. So the first thing I'm going to do before I bring parts in is come up here to my Make connector. And I'm going to come here on my, uh, uh, my origin point and I want to put a plane down, or I mean uh, a Make connector down on my y-axis, we can see that here on my y-axis, point one. And I'm gonna come back and insert another make connector. And I'm gonna to wanna to choose that one and get that one placed on my z-axis. So if I can hopefully rotate it. There we go, I have it on my z-axis. So as we can see there, we have our two points placed down. Now I'm going to insert the body of my uh, Among Us character. We can see that here. I'm just going to move it off to the side. So I'm going to do a fasten mate from mate connector point two to the top portion of my person's or my character's head. So I've affixed that to that point on the plane now or my axis. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my visor. And I'm going to place that visor. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab my fasten mate. I'm going to choose my mate connector one. I can choose it over here. And I'm going to choose the center point of this. Now I'm going to just rotate around so you can see where we're at. Now that's not where we want it to be. So we're going to do some offsetting here. I'm going to offset by one and a half inches on my x axis. And I'm going to offset by. Uh, 0.5 inches on my uh, z-axis to kind of place that visor where I want it. We can see that we now have those two parts constrained together. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert and bring in my pencil holder. We can see here. I'm going to green check mark to close this out and, and grab the fasten mate. I'm going to go to mate connector 2 on this and select it over my menu of my workflow. And I'm gonna to go to my pencil bucket and choose that top point, uh, middle point face facing my character. Oh, and I, we can see it is not exactly where we want it. So we're gonna to come to our offset and we're gonna rotate this 80 degrees. Because then we have that tapered face, it's not gonna be a straight 90 degrees. We can see here, we've rotated it 80 degrees. Then on the y-axis, we're going to come down a negative 1.05. So now we should be near flush with the bottom. And on the z-axis, we're going to go a negative uh, 0.5. And hit return. And we can see now that our, our bucket is a little bit uh, higher on that than the the character itself, we can see it's attached at that point. So in all honesty, if we wanted to move this down to maybe a negative 1.08, maybe even a one point negative 1.1, uh, that looks a little bit more uh, level. We could actually probably bring it down to a 1.5. Let's see what that looks like. And it all depends. Do you want your them to be even on the ground? Do you want them to uh, the bucket to be there and the character to be a little bit more hanging? Uh, and I think we're probably at that 1.15 1. 1, uh, might look like no two two five would look like something a little bit more realistic. So then you can see we have our Among Us pencil case holder, uh, our two pieces attached. So if we were looking to 3D print this, um, we could print this all together in one part uh, because our parts uh, are connected to each other in our assembly. Now for a challenge, if you wanted to exceed past this, you could duplicate or insert multiple bodies and visors and duplicate this and put a different character on each side and even change in their color uh, to give it a little bit more uh, character to it.